shall have destroyed Carthage. Every man, woman, and child, many years ago. Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Total War Room 2, the Julia campaign, and in the last session we left off just about to launch an attack on the Aravachi. Just the last couple of little manoeuvres required, and, and then we're ready to go. <coughs> Excuse me. The uh, Aravachi are pretty much done with. I think the last army is here, and once this army has been dispatched, in some form or another, they should be eradicated. So we have uh, conquered the entire province of Aquitania. A lot of building work required down here to put things right and keep the public order up, prevent this place from going into rebellion. And one thing I noticed before I started the session, started the recording, was that. Uh, all the way here in the north, the Iceni sailing some ships across here. If you look to the diplomacy, you can see that the Iceni are at war with the Reiti, my client state, and also the Atrabates who are here. So uh, this could mean um, bad news for our client state here. Flevum could fall, and they're going to have to pull their armies north to repel a possible Iceni threat. So we'll have to keep our eye on that. They should be able to deal with this on their own, but uh, I have a, no doubt that at some point they're going to come cap in hand and request assistance from their overlords, of which we will say, sorry folks, cannot do that, because we're about to engage in a big, big war with the Aravachi, who do have a lot of units so we cannot afford to be splitting our troops off into various directions. So uh, that's uh, where we stand. Uh, all the building work has been done. All the movements have been completed. So all that is left for us to do is to end the turn. And uh, as I always say, see what today's session brings. Indeed, here come the Iceni. Maybe they're leaving uh, our client state alone and going either for the Atrobates or they're just wanting to make a nuisance of themselves. And the quicker we can dispatch of the Arverni the better because they do have several agents in the field that will or can cause issue for our men, our cities. So uh, we need to get rid of them quickly. My people do not like luxury, but money is needed. I answer. No, thank you. Your pitiful little. Why um, the uh... spirits of our ancestors have no use for gold? No, thank you. I'm going to see your pitiful little uh, faction with all its one province is really not one going to be. One uh... sacrifice is needed. On no, the altar of our no. Good want your military alliances now? I, I, I'll come to you when I'm wanting alliance. Okay. The time is right, I shall come to you. You don't come to me. The enemy casts a shadow over us all. Will you send your soldiers, a most brave phalanx, to crush them? Well, <clears throat> to be perfectly blunt, we do want to get rid of the Atrabates. They're not happy with us, we're not happy with them. They're at war with my new client state, the Treveri. We could do with uh, dispatching of them. I mean, we don't need the cash. But I'm going to say no for now. I don't want to start an unnecessary war against these people. Let them carry on. <clears throat> Hopefully the Treveri will take care of them. And to be perfectly honest, why on earth are you at war with them, Masali? Why are you that bothered? They're miles away from your lands. You've got, you know, you've got threats closer to home to worry about. Right. Sabotage. Sabotage. Trade agreement with the Libyans dissolved, and Fulch has been... And, and the rest of it, and everything. As you can see, there we go. This is the issue now, as you see here. This was happy. This was a happy place, until this... Uh, stuck his oar in, and started causing unrest. 
So this is why the uh, they need to be dispatched swiftly. Because we can't have this happening. And uh, a faction rises up all the way down here. Rises up from the ashes. The Sirenaker. Ooh, quite a few buildings have been constructed here. Lovely. Quartermaster's report. Very good. Right, Birdie Gala needs an upgrade then. Let's just go over to Birdie Gala here. Just bear with me a second. Okay, Birdie Gala. Ah, plus 26 per turn in the public order front now. This is a happy place. Oh, we like happy places. Right, what do we want to build here? We could go for commerce. We could go for more food. More food allows us to build some more buildings in the future. We could upgrade this pretty much for free of charge. It doesn't cost anything, really, in terms of food or public order, but, uh, you know, uh, negative buffs. Um, we're going to upgrade the food here, and we're going to go for more food. And we're going to go for... Fountains. I like fountains. Fountains are pretty. Right, and that should do us. In fact, we can probably go for that as well. Due to the extra bonuses, we're going to get to public order. We could also upgrade this for some food. Um, uh, for the cost of some food. We're getting some food from these newly built, uh, upgraded farms when they occur, so uh, let's get that in there as well. So, Bird de Gala undergoing a swift and radical upheaval in terms of the building work, but I'm sure they'll be happy. Extra uh, entertainment put on for them. They should, they should be well impressed. Right, here we go. We try, need to try to get rid of this. This needs to end. So, uh, first order of the day Great is orders. to see if we can actually attack this. I don't think we can attack it in one turn, you know. I really don't think we can attack it in one turn. We're going to have to go into the water and take them down. At once. Your next command. That nope. path is blocked. No, nope, we can't do it. How on earth are we supposed to flame and do this, you buggers? We can't get in the water. While he's here, he's blocking the path. Uh, for God's sake. For God's sake. You try to besmirch me with your flaming... Uh, I wonder if he can go in the water. Can he get in the water? He can get in the water here, but that's no good to me. Is he on force? He's on forced, forced march. I don't want to get too close to any potential enemies in case he gets ambushed. But we're not at war with these people just yet. Right. Okay, that'll do for now. Right. <clears throat> I think we are, might be ready to take down these people here. Obviously, Berdigala, this province of Aquitania, doesn't need my assistance in here in terms of, it, of the army. So, uh, what are we on? Force March? We are on Force March. Can we take it off Force March? Where do we go with that? Okay, we do go pretty close. We do go pretty close. So, we go here. Destination reached. Does he re is he in reinforcement range? He is in reinforcement range, but that shouldn't, that shouldn't matter. We go from here. We surround them. Oh, I, I, I. I'd have to attack now with this army instead. Where the hell am I going? I'd have to attack with this army because he's on force march now. But this should be uh, plenty of units to take care of this. The Tolosa has a very puny garrison one full stack army there nothing really to harp on about we should really be uh, re you know we should be uh, more than powerful enough to take this down 
And just to sweeten the deal a little bit, we could weaken the garrison even further. Or I wonder I if we can actually even nullify this army's uh, threat. Poison wells, let's try that. Sabotage. Genius. Absolutely genius. He failed miserably. Isn't that something? Right, so they're happily uh, cracking on there. I don't even think we need the uh, him to be doing this anymore, so we're going to take him out of that. And he can actually be upgraded right now. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Zeal, cunning, authority. What's this one? Persuade. Plus 10% chance for persuade. Oh, there's uh, single combat, show of force. Try that one. Right. Bring him out. Bring him down. So bring him down here to prepare us for our uh, foray into Iberia. Okay. So, uh, yes. I think we're done. I think we're done. Just new for us now to uh, launch the attack. Okay, here we go. At your command. Oh, do I need to declare war? Should I do it officially, or should I? Let's see. We'll do it. We'll do it the old-fashioned way, shall we? Hello there, Volke. I hate your guts. You ate my guts, and therefore, I declare war on come, you. Come, come. Let me hear your talk. I warn you, I have no stomach for the meek or nice. So, uh, we're not going to ask the DLC to help. They're far away. There's no need for them to drag themselves here. We should be able to dispatch of these people very quickly. Uh, of course, they will be running to the Aravachi begging for assistance, and no doubt the Aravachi will... Uh... Ah, it's worth considering. Bear with me. Ah. Bit of foresight should have been seen here. I'm about to declare war on the Aravachi, and I've just left an, a fleet in uh, force march right near to them. Ah, oh, dear me, it doesn't matter. I suppose uh, we should still be strong enough to take them down. Start again. I declare war on you, to you evil people. Oh no. Plainly, and I will they are joined by the Aravachi. Isn't that something? What a shock horror. Oh, the Aravachi have... Oh, the relationship has gone down the swanee. It's time for us to, uh, it's time for us to get involved. It's time for us to, uh, batter and bruise these guys. War is underway. Starting with this. They have, uh, pretty much no chance to be perfectly frank with this. It should be very straightforward. So we're going to also resolve this. The Volke have been trampled into the dust. Ready for orders. Did we lose a unit here? That would be rather irksome. But never mind. We, hunger for battle. we just need to leave them now in Commander. here to replenish, retrain, and do what they need to do. Nijo Sanguine gets another tradition. What do we have here? Indomitable Legions. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice indeed. Uh, so Legio Sanguine could do perhaps with another couple of units to assist. Um, for that they're going to have to Come just maybe there. go running up into the province of uh, Celtica. Because they are capable of... Uh, capable of recruitment. We could also hire some uh, mercenaries. We hunger for battle. Anyway, let them replenish, replenish for now. Ready for battle. Ready for orders. Okay, that's fine. So Tolosa is ours. We didn't really want this land because it's uh, a split province. We would happily let uh, Massalia take it back for themselves. So we're not actually. We're going to see how this works. What I'm going to try and do is I'm going to uh, just let the place go into revolt and see if Massalia assist in taking it back. 
Okay, right. Not happy about this man in our lands. He might cause a bit of devastation, a bit of raiding, but that's, that's going to have to be fine for now. Okay, so... Uh, Ready for orders. Yeah, we're done. We're happy with that. And... Uh, or should we just... I don't know. Should we take it? Get it. We have cash. We'll just, just use it. Just use it. Fine, fine. If it does rebel of its own accord, then fair enough. But we'll, we'll try a little bit. Make a small effort to try and pacify it. But we're not going to leave garrisons in there. And the like. So, uh, there you go. So our armies are ready. Pretty much to start this war with the Aravachi. Let's see if they make any attacking motions here. Or are they going to actually turn and flee now that the uh, Romans have. Yes, they are going to turn and flee. There. Off they, off they go. Look at this. They're all running. Tails between legs. It's nice to see. Maybe they're off to draw up some game plans. Going to rethink uh, their strategies, and then they shall come forth once they are ready. Between friends, the... We do oh, not ask it lightly, but the now they're favorite. at war with the Caledonians as well. People would aid our cause. No! Sorry, clan state, and I should really help you out, because I am... Oh, they're going... See? <laughs> they're landing in bloody Britannia themselves. Go on, my clan state. Get me some more land. Subversion be bracked again. That is not... Oh, my God. My family's been blackmailed. I'm not going to pay it. I lose a little bit of gravitas here, but uh, this mad general... It's going to do something slightly unorthodox. Previous generals in times gone by would have said, No, we will not be blackmailed. He says, Eh, sure, blackmail me. What's the worst that's going to happen? Blackmail attempt, successful, and it was actually the House of Cornelia. Oh dear. House Cornelia versus House Julia once again begins to flare up a little bit. Senior Calvus, not quite so staunch as his uh, previous uh, predecessor, Mr. Bassus, who would not allow such things to happen. Anyway, uh, the Avachi, the Averni, the Averni, the, too many A faction names, very confusing. The Averni, they have sailed their ships elsewhere. I don't know where on earth they have gone, but they are no longer here. So, uh, they still have their... I thought they still had their units here. Maybe they don't. Maybe they have gone. Faction destroyed. They are Verdi! They've gone! They have been dispatched! No more irksome agents, and all is well once again. Right, well, that's good. Because I did say that Mr. Apias Vesenius Calvus would receive a promotion as a, as a uh, reward for dispatching Gaul of the irksome threat that was the Arverni. Congratulations. Mr. Quaestor. Congratulations. Mr. Adelis. Anything else? Congratulations. Mr. Praetor. He's flying through the ranks. Look at that, eh? You've never seen a man fly through the ranks so quick. <laughs> Cornelia faction thought blackmailing him would tarnish his reputation. He comes back and flies through the political ranks and says, eat that. You are now speaking to an unhinged, untrustworthy, slightly mad praetor. Cross my path, and you might feel my wrath. So, here we go. The Aravachi are running back down towards their lands, which means that we should be preparing, should we not, for a full-blown attack. So all that is left for us to do is I'm going to take all my armies here and then sort of fan them out. Two going down there and two going down here. 
And we need to get our spies and our agents down there as well to assist wherever possible. Come, sit, share my fire. And if we can manipulate this guy across to our to our cause. How can I help? Could be worth a try. But then again, I'm not really too fussed about Tolosa, so he can cause as much devastation there as he wants. And <laughs> it's not going to bother me in the slightest. Right, here we go. Down, down, down. Down, down, down. How He's off I down there. That's not the uh, Aravatri's land. They have a land here in Umanti. We'll push a little bit further there. They do have a land here. If we bring up the uh, diplomacy screen, we might be able to see what lands they have. So they have this province here. So there is a land somewhere here. Taraco. We've got this land here. And uh, down, it's pretty much down the eastern side. So that's Taraco. So there's one there and one there. They're the first two that we should really push towards. And then they've got two more, I think. They've got Ars and they've got Kart Hadasht. But we'll uh, obviously. Just meander down, slowly but surely. Right, Mr. 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 If you can just come down this way, spy on the situation, see what's... Uh, ooh, spy on the situation indeed. Well, I think these two guys are going to head down this way, clearing the path as they go, down to there, like that. And the other two will uh, come down the path here, straight to Numantia. And my agents will come down here and just make sure there's no other armies in between that could get behind our lines. So that seems to be the general plan. Ah, we have our we have our patrician back. He was wounded, so he could perhaps go there. So if we bring him down this way, bring him round there, a couple of turns, whichever's quickest. And have this man sort of meander down here like that. Okay, lovely. So I'm seeing a plan forming now. This is good. This is good. Right. Okay. So uh, we just wait one more turn. We're just going to try and replenish the armies. And I will hire mercenaries. They are expensive, but we can afford it. So it's. Uh, although our coffers have gone from 70 odd thousand down to 39, we just have to be careful that we don't start to. Bankrupting ourselves, thinking that we've got unlimited, uh, you know, caches of money. Who is this man? The Dagger of Rome. Just need to wait for our horses to replenish. We can get closer to the borders, though. It's not a problem. We could go closer to the borders. We still replenish in our own lands. So what's, I think that's, that's what we'll do. Yeah, we'll take the strongest army here first. Take him down here. Ready for further orders. I did say that they were going to go that way, other way. Oh, I've got all the tits up here. And uh, take him down just behind to reinforce. Ready for there we go. Tolosa now going to go in, into uproar. Should I even spend any more cash on this? If it's going to rebel. I'm not going to spend any more cash for just for now. We'll wait patiently for the time being. So they're down there. What about you? We hunger for battle. You need to replenish as well, so you need to get yourselves across. We're going to put you into a forced march, in fact. I'm going to take you around the other way. So we're going to take you around, take you around to here to start with. And he should be able to replenish in his own lands here. That's fine. You now need to get yourselves back onto dry land. So off he goes. Right, lovely. Your okay, that's right. So movement is happening. And hopefully Massalia can re recover from the blockaded port situation that they had. Um, it would be good if they can. There's a bit of time to uh, get over it. The Atrabates still remain. Come on, guys. Get yourselves over there. Don't be frightened. Take a leaf out of the Raiti's book. They have uh, pushed a, uh, pushed into the lands of their enemy. Not content to sit and defend, they have gone across themselves and 
It looks like they're docking here. I'm going to start taking lands in Britain. Let's hope that that can be the case. Any lands that they take, as my client state, of course, go towards my victory condition, which is always a nice bonus. Right. So, movement's done. Agent movement's done. Building work, we're not going to bother about just right now. So, uh, if there's nothing else for us to worry about in terms of upgrading our forces, let's just take a quick look at the news. Some more buildings have been constructed. An adventurer. Some more... Uh, Units into Defensoris Gallica. Unhappy Populous, Aquitania. Although it is on the increase, so that's actually a positive sign. Troubled Populous in Celtica. That is now back on the increase after the agents of the Arverni have gone. Nossus and Sparta secure an alliance. Sabotage attempt. Libya has been destroyed. These are all the uh, trait gains for. Senius Calvus, who somehow has found a way to rock it through the ranks. Maybe his sort of lunatic uh, persona frightens a few senators and they give him what he asks for, eh? Give this man what he wants or else he might string us all up by our knackers. Indeed he might. Between friends, the gift of gold is often taken to be a sign of deep affection and respect. Well, considering Sparta at war with so many different people, I really don't think a defensive alliance is good. Don't want to be dragged into any wars this far away. Although, if you look at our, our uh, relationship with all of these factions uh, around this side of the world, they're pretty, pretty good. Apart from a couple here, you know, we're, we're looking uh, positive over this side. And it looks to me as if the Anates have just dispatched of the German Confederation. Either this turn, or it happened last turn, and I didn't even realise. Here I'm actually thinking about something. Thinking long and hard. You think? Oh, where's he going now? Don't start bloody trying to try... Oh, Massalia might be in trouble again. <laughs> as soon as Rome takes the legions away... They are about to come out to play. One no. sacrifice. Where you don't where you going? Don't take your fleets outside. They've got a bloody enemy fleet. Or transports, whatever they might be, sailing towards your city again, you know, taking your units away. Ratey, what are you doing? Can you not attack these folk? Your brain. How many people are asking me to attack strength. these people? How many people? Military sabotage! Spurious Sornatius Flavus. Sure, he'll cope. Right, motivated populace in Germania Minor, that's good. Population surplus in Germania Minor, that's good. And some building work required there then. Construction reports, more buildings have been constructed. Some uh, unhinged, accomplished, some more uh, traits for my agents. Inspired populace there, troops recruited there, troubled populace in Provincia, where's that? Oh dear. Oh well, as I said, we're not going to be too fussed about that. Hidden agent exposed. Yes, right. I'm just going to click up here a minute. Yeah, sure enough, the uh, German Confederation has been uh, taken down by the Anates, which means that they have four lands pretty much here, uh, up there, and down there, and there. Four lands, all quite spread out. And there's no reason why we can't be neighbours and get on swimmingly. No reason at all. But we do have a legion here. Should they decide that they want to turn on us, that we can definitely uh, take the fight to them. <coughs> no problem at all. 